Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In September 2022, the Cabinet Committee on Security gave the much awaited funding approval for LCA Mark II. The Cabinet Committee on Security has sanctioned 6500 crore rupees for designing and developing Tejas Mark II fighter jet with prototypes, flight testing and certification. The allocation comes in addition to the existing 2500 crore rupees sanction to HL. The development of LCA Mark II is very critical for Indian Air Force which is already struggling with the declining squadron strength. Indian Air Force will lose at least 3 squadrons of Jaguars and 3 squadrons of MiG-21 by 2030. The loss of 6 squadron will be fulfilled by addition of 83 Tejas Mark 1A. However, the squadron strength of Indian Air Force will still be close to 31 or 32, which is much lesser than the sanctioned squadron strength of 42. Therefore, Indian government and Indian Air Force has high hopes on LCA Mark II. The Air Force has committed for six squadrons of LCA Mark II in Phase 1 and additional four squadrons in Phase 2. The LCA Mark II is going to replace the fleet of MiG-29 and Mirage 2000 when they are slated to be decommissioned in the next decade. The LCA Mark II is going to be a much more capable platform than LCA Mark I. Mark II will have 11 hardpoints, while Mark I has just 7 hardpoints and has capability of carrying 6.5 tons of weapons. The Mark II's wing has been widened and it can carry bombs like Skull Bomb which weighs around 1350 kg. However, both MK1 and MK1A do not have the capability or capacity to carry the skull bombs. The Mark I has capacity of carrying 2450 kilograms of internal fuel and Mark II can carry around 4700 kilograms of fuel externally. This will help Mark II in enhancing its range up to 3000 km. Mark II also has onboard oxygen generating system and pilots do not have to carry the oxygen bottle like they have to do in Mark I variant which has maximum endurance of just 1 to 2 hours. The onboard oxygen generator system on Mark II can supply oxygen for almost 8 hours compensating the rapid decrease in oxygen levels at high altitude. Now talking about uh, the development timeline, during Defense Expo 2022, the LCA Mark II project director has said that the rollout of the fighter is expected by December 2023 and in the worst case by March 2024. The fighter jet will take its first flight in next one year after the rollout that is somewhere in December 2024 or March 2024. This will be followed by the manufacturing of three more prototypes of the fighter. The long leaned component manufacturing of the aircraft has already begun. ADA has planned to build four prototypes by the end of year 2027 on which even the Air Force Chief has said it's an aggressive timeline. Now, as per the recent reports from 100knots.com, the HAL CMD CB Anand Krishnan has said that HAL will be able to deliver the prototype in the year 2025-26 and have the first flight in 2026-27. So the question arises that is there again delay in development of LCA Mark II? Now, before we talk about it, it's also important to note that the Cabinet Committee on Security approved the funding for fighter aircraft development and its construction of prototypes in September 2022. It takes at least three years to manufacture an aircraft and especially when it is a new platform, which means it will be ready in best case by the end of year 2025. We can expect delays of additional one year considering the unknowns associated with the procurement of various parts which takes us to the end of 2026 and this timeline is in line with the timeline reported by HAL's CMD. So to summarize, it's not delay from ADA or HAL side but possibly due to the late arrival of the funds. While LCA Mark II fund has been approved, the AMCA fund is still awaiting approval. Now again here, the story is same, only after the approval of fund, the prototype development can commence in full swing. As per the recent report from Chief of Air Staff, the, 
the draft preliminary service qualitative requirements that is PSQR have been forwarded and Indian Air Force has reviewed the detailed design prepared by DRDO after undertaking the comprehensive design studies on the project. The AMCA rollout can also be expected in minimum three years only after the approval of the fund by CCS. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.